Oh, now, Jack O'Keefe is back. You wouldn't believe what we were talking about. Uh, Jack O'Keefe is back with brunch. That's half Yorkshire pudding and half pancake. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, Alan. <laughs> Take away, just drop that bomb in there. Yeah. Right, like. <laughs> All right, so we're making Danish pancakes. We're making da uh, Danish baby pancakes. Danish baby now, pancakes. Okay. I was kind of trying to figure out why they call Danish baby pancakes, but I didn't Google it in time this morning. It's too early to be Googling yeah. stuff. Like okay. That. So I'm just going to bluff and pretend I know what I'm talking right. about. Right, Just cool. like everything in but my career. But it tastes gorgeous. It, there are Amazing. They're basically Yorkshire puddings, only sweet. Very simple to make. All you need is eggs, sugar, flour, a bit of milk, and some flavourings, whatever you like. So when I say flavourings, I mean nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla essence, that kind of right. stuff. In my big jug here, I have three full eggs and a heaped tablespoon of castor sugar. That's it. I've turned it on full wax speed and got them nice and frothy. He brought them up to the ribbon stage, so it's nice and thick. Um, just like that. Once you get that far up, just bung in the flour. And I have some nutmeg in there as well for a little bit of flavour. Some milk and some vanilla essence going in now. And just give it one little more twist. So this is making the batter. That making we see. the batter, exactly. The batter. And look, it's a funny recipe. It's a funny dish title. It's a funny looking dish. And a lot of people don't know what it is, but I think it's ideal for this coming bank holiday weekend, for Easter morning, having big breakfast with oh, the, the kids Easter and the Sunday family or Easter and stuff. Monday. Do you know on the yeah. Monday, you love a, I love a big fry up of a And you know, you could weekend. leave out the sugar in this. So then it becomes savoury. Okay. And then you can, you know, you can have bacon and rashers and whatever else yeah. po popped inside A bit it. of bacon would right. be nice in it, yeah. Oven, preheated to 200 degrees Celsius. And my cast iron pan or any frying pan that has a metal handle and won't melt into the oven for about 20 minutes. And if you don't get nice one, that doesn't have a... If you have just uh, an oven... You can use an oven tray. Perfectly fine. Oh, okay. Right? Keep your teetal on the handle like that because you don't want to look like no, yeah, Jesus coming down from yeah. across with a hole in your hand. Okay? And then take your batter out of your mixer. A little bit of butter goes in. It'll start to melt, melt immediately. Melt immediately. Spread it around. Get a nice good coat on. And then pour in your batter. Pour it all in. Pour it all in. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this recipe is designed for a 10 inch pan. So you can increase it or reduce it depending on that. And again, you can make this the night before and it's stunning straight out of the fridge. And then that just goes into the oven. Straight into the oven, 18 minutes at 200 degrees. 18 minutes? Yeah, at 200 degrees. Do not open the door, do not poke it. Once that goes in, set your timer for 18 minutes. It's absolutely perfect, trust okay. me. And, it comes and then, out. after 80, 18 oh, minutes... Oh, 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 look at this. Look at that. You said it wouldn't rise. <laughs> yeah, look at that. No. And that's the Dutch baby pancake. OK. Right, nice and simple. Leave it cool down a little bit before you put your fillings in. And all I'm going to do this morning is some fresh berries, which are some finely chopped mint, a little bit of lemon zest. So is it like a Yorkshire pudding? Just like a Yorkshire pudding. Same thing. See, I'm not a mad fan of Yorkshire pudding. Oh, I love them. Like, I was there no yeah. daydreaming this morning. Some raw roast beef, some carrots, some mash. Build your whole dinner into the Yorkshire into pudding. Into the Yorkshire pudding. And then fill it up like a bowl of soup with gravy. That's like adult's baby bowl right there. You should actually do that one day. You should actually make it like that one day for us. Some icing sugar, just to sweeten up the berries. And then just mix all that, give a nice little tumble. And you just put it in... So how do you center. serve this then? I'll just pop into the centre of the table on top of a coaster. But how do you like... And I'll cut it like a pizza. How are you giving the pieces to people? What, how serve you them up slices like a quiche or slices like a pizza. And that's okay. pretty much it. And then... Like you can lift it out if you want onto a plate. Yeah, well like... Ideally you... before you fill it. Before you fill, oh yeah, yeah no, you stay in there now. Stay there now, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm a professional. So it's cream on top of that as well, and then some lightly whipped cream, and I just fold it in icing sugar into the cream at the end, and just to make it into a chantilly cream. Just pop that in around. But like, I tried this at the weekend: caramelized nice. bananas, pecans, and a scoop of uh, a Ben and Jerry's caramel ice cream. That sounds that was my delicious. breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so how do I? What do I do? So you've cut it in front of you. Okay. Just tuck into it as if it's an unsliced pizza. Do you know what? I'll give it a quick no, slice. No, no. Let me you. try. Let Go me on. try. Let me try it. Okay. Give me some. Um, so I just take it with mine. I give us a plate. So I just there try and go. take it up. Yeah. Take a big slice take of it. Take a big up. slice. Get the puff bit at the, the end. Yeah. And then you kind of, you get your centerpiece is kind of like custardy and pancakey, and then the outside puffs up just like a Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. It's really sweet and delicious. And you can see why on like a, a bank holiday Monday or oh, a Sunday know, and you have loads of people over and you don't want to be doing a big... Because you ever find when you cook a fry for like loads of people at home? Yeah. Your house stinks for the entire day after. The windows are greasy, everything is greasy from all the, the grease coming off of it. Where's that? Just pop into the centre table. And let everyone help themselves. Yeah, because you're going to be pumped up with chocolate for the rest of the day anyway, so... Of course you are, yeah, exactly. So we we'll start it off with a sweet bang first. That is, that is nuts. The things you come up with, but they're brilliant. I spend too much time on social media, you know that? Oh, it's delicious. It's cool, isn't it? Mmm. 
Like, and I'm not a mad fan of Yorkshire pudding, but it's just lovely with all the, yeah. all the stuff in it. Really lovely. Jack, no problem. You've scored a 10 out of 10 for that one. I'm definitely the favourite now. I'm definitely the favourite <laughs> now. Thank you so much no for problem. that.